Hey folks, Grandison Shines here. Now we're getting to the point where we have the foundational principles in operation. We have the awareness, self-awareness, other awareness, and situational awareness. We understand how to communicate. This is where now we start to understand certain techniques and the terms and mind, being mindful of leadership, leadership techniques. Now, leadership, let's get on the same page as leadership. Leadership is the ability and the act of an individual organization being socially influential to others in order to fulfill a vision or a purpose. It involves the ability to set direction, inspire, and motivate others, make decisions, and manage resources. Leadership, now we're talking about a whole other set of skills or everything else is going to be this barrage of opportunities, experiences, wisdom, knowledge, insights going to come to you, foresight, everything else you're going to have to extend and utilize as part of your leadership prowess. And to go further on, leadership can be formal or informal. Formal leadership refers to the traditional hierarchy of an organization where leaders hold this designated positions of power and authority, right? We have that in our program as well, talking about that, not only a hierarchical standpoint, but power and authority being when we are executing six strategies of execution, one of those pillars of the six is power and or power and authority. That can be delegated to us, that can be given to us, we can acquire it in many different ways to understand and we can speak and communicate with power and as a leader we should be doing that. Continuing on, continuing on informal leadership refers to the emergent leaders who gain influence or respect through their actions and behaviors there are times when people just follow you because you are doing a certain op certain thing and that's the informal leadership and actually know you're in this position people see you hire themselves but also come to you for wisdom knowledge inside everything else so this too is very profound in understanding again leadership not being easy the leadership should be very, very intentional, utilizing everything that we have underneath these, this is graphic here, the gold bar, and I'm saying how to utilize this for future references and talking to superiors, understanding how to lead subordinates. We have to also lead up and manage up to superiors as well, and then also across departments so from a hierarchy standpoint with colleagues and peers, and then external of the organization with vendors, with, with partners, referral partners whatever kind of partners you have there within your organization and also taking it out to to contractors right with those people who are we contract but leadership is important this is a, another set of skill sets remember we've identified 44 different leadership skills that you should be prowessed in in order to be this well-rounded leader as you ascend in this in your your career you will always should always be i'm gonna say should in this instance because there's gonna be more you should always be in a learning mode. Leadership is never done until you are out of the seat. All right, folks, Grandison Shine signing out. Stay tuned for part five.